What up? We're back. I'm fatter than ever. Fatter than ever. Man, what do you do? I eat everything I keep my damn hands on. <laughs> so you want to tell them what we're doing today? You tell them. The video's, the camera's facing you. Oh, uh, okay. We're going to Laurel. We're checking out the horse races. It's Maryland Day? It is Maryland Day. Yes, Maryland Day. Yep. Yep. So we figured we'd do a visit while we're there and visit a couple other places if we have time. Dave's never done horse racing before. He's never bet on them. So we're going to bet on a couple races, but we're not going to spend all day there. We're going to bet on three races and probably be like, all right, we're done. We're out. It's fun. I, I used to go every once in a while. I haven't gone in years, but it's fun. I enjoy it. So that's what we're going to do today. Can I do it? No. Why? No blowing your horn. You're going to get a shot. But... All right, so we are in the heart of Laurel. Also known as the hole of Laurel. We're going down Route 1. We're going to eat at a place called Mad Cow Grill. We wanted to eat at this Italian place. I already forgot the name of it. Um, pasta Juan. Pasta something. Pasta Juan. No. Pasta up some, something silly like that. This is Main Street. We'll go down there later. There's a couple cool shops down there. It's worth taste, testing. Checking out. Blah. <laughs> um. Yeah, the pasta place we want to eat at is only open for dinner, it seems, so we're not going to be able to eat there. Um, I'll get the name of it and share it later. It's worth checking out. Ooh, new Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, because there's not enough Dunkin' Donuts in the world. Yeah. Rico's Tacos. Hey, I'm going to go there. You want to eat there instead? Not right now. We're going to this other place, but... We're going to get mad cow disease. <laughs> for later, <laughs> we're going to go over there. No, if we're still around for dinner, we're going to go to the Italian place. Check out this really old RB sign. It's been here since like, I don't know, the 1800s for my turn. Half a mile, you're turning right onto Domer Avenue. Domer, I was thinking Dudley. Domer. Domer. So here's the old RB sign he was talking about. Let me zoom in. It's kind of funny looking. Just a big hat. <laughs> yep. It's really cool. And look at the giant food sign in the background. That yeah. one looks old too. Yeah, I was gonna say. It looks like something we see over in the mountains when we get to your mom's. <laughs> Those old towns. They got pretty good food. Polo Camparo? Yeah. Or is it Pollo? I don't know. <laughs> is this down where you see the sign? Uh, point two miles. I don't okay, think that's exactly this one. It's probably still in the Laurel Shopping Center. Mm. Dimer. And then it's 100 feet from wherever we're pulling in at. Oh, there it is, Mad Cow. I don't know if this is a food chain store or a restaurant or if it's a one of a kind. I've never heard of Mad Cow. We might not survive this. We might get Mad Cow disease. I don't even know what they have in there. I'm assuming it's a burger joint. So we'll see. All right, so we were going to eat at Mad Cow Grill, and then we looked at the menu, and I wasn't feeling it. No. Um, she likes chicken. <laughs> and nothing else. Potatoes. That's, that's not true. That's all she eats. They have burgers there. Um, so now we're going to go to the Tasty Diner. And we're going to get there, check out the menu, and discover that we're going somewhere else. No. So they have like an actual like canned car wash here. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Whoosh. Now, when I was a kid, my mom used to always come to Laurel for stuff because she didn't like Columbia, and we were kind of right in the middle of both. So I'm very used to Laurel, but it's gotten worse over the years, I think. Yeah, it used to be a pretty charming little place to be. Yeah. Now it's like West Baltimore. Main Street is still charming. I like Main Street. There's some cool little shops that I'm going to show you later. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, five guys. We could eat there. Okay, people, <laughs> so right now we're on one. After we get over this hill, this is where Pasta Plus is. Yes, you're right. It's Pasta Plus. That's the place we wanted to eat, but they're only open for dinner. They're pretty good Italian. Yeah. It's a hidden treasure. That's it over there. Um, in 0.4 miles, you're going to be turning left, but it's not giving me your road name. Because it's that little weird looking place down here on the left, near Main Street. Alright, so we are eating at the Silver Diner in Laurel. Just do a quick scan. It's a very old diner looking place. I kind of want to go into the bar. 
see what the bar looks like. We'll see how the food is. Yeah. Jukebox. Gonna be a jukebox hero. Okay, so we just ate at the Tasty Diner, and it was... It was great. Tasty. Yeah. Doesn't look <laughs> like much in there or from yeah, the outside, it but it was good. It was actually decent. We got the hush puppies. Mm-hmm. They're good. Yep. You got the fried chicken sandwich. Yep. It was... It was great. And I got the fried chicken salad. It was just a regular garden salad with chicken. It was good, too, and the french fries were good. Mm -hmm. Service was a little eh, but... Besides that... Was this recording? I think. Yeah. Look, okay. Right there. <laughs> All right, so we're off to the races. Literally. Literally. Woo! That was really boring. Okay, so we are at the racetrack. Yep. All right, we are at the Laurel Race Track right now. We're in between races. We bet on the first one and lost. But I'm going to do a quick scan so you can see what it looks like here. Thank you. Guys. All right, great interview there. Richie with trainer Hammy Smith. He has two two year olds in here the past 30 years here in, here in Maryland. Hammy Smith is one of the top two year old trainers, and he's got one of the. Which, which, were, which numbers did we bet on? We did five and four. To place. Yeah. So if place. they come in first or second, we win. Yes. So we'll see what happens. We're going to be billionaires. <laughs> That's doubtful. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Wishful. Say that. Back at the start. Look at Lorenzo out to the front with Sky Magician on the inside and follow the dog is joining the pace of the fire outside. Captain Cat is racing in fourth and out of the park is in fifth. Underway is Hall Pass on the outside now within four lengths of that lead and he's back to known quantity is Scrap Copper with a lot to do in between horses after the four break. And he's not curly as the gray on the outside of Scrap Copper. Now they're about five and a half lengths off the pace out there. Uh, Lippy Lorenzo and follow the dog. Follow the dog ahead behind Lippy Lorenzo. It's a length and a half more. Hall Pass is racing up on the outside. The inside is Sky Magician. Sky Magician is in fourth. See Scrap Copper still got about six to make up at the top of the stretch. The opening corner right 22.45 and they head for home after 45.67 half hour. Inside the stretch of the nearest Lorenzo Fires on the In point three miles, turn right on the Powder Mill Road. So we're headed to Redding Lake, which is apparently in Laurel. We're about five minutes out. National Wildlife Visitor Center, that's where we're going. Tuxet research. Point seven miles, turn left on a scarlet tana, tana girl loop or tanager loop. It says restricted usage road. <laughs> I've never been back here before. I've never seen this part of Laurel. This doesn't really look like the Laurel we all know <laughs> where we were just at. Yeah, this looks like the Laurel you can love. Yes. Center, 9 to 4.30. So we got a little bit of time. Not much. We got like 20 minutes to find this lake. <laughs> we're uh, great. We walk like 10 miles. Hunting an area? There's a necklace ranger up ahead. Necklace did, ranger? Yeah, did you see that sign? Turtle crossing. Turtle, turtle. Oh great, frog crossing now. <laughs> Rabbit. I've never seen a frog crossing sign before. Neither have I. <laughs> I think That's we're coming funny. up on something. Yeah, turtle crossing. With babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Turtle's been busy. Ooh, what is this? The 
this is getting creepy. Oh, you can hike back here? Are we supposed to be back here? I don't know. Oh, look, cars. <laughs> oh, there's something up here. Oh, what is that over there? The visitor center, I guess. I thought there was a lake back here, but I haven't seen water. Have you seen water? I haven't seen water. Yeah, like this, this much. It said Reading Lake was part of this, so I don't know. All right, so we've made our way to the Reddington Lake at the, what was it, the Patuxent Wildlife Refuge? Yeah, Refuge. Is that refuge. what it was? Refuge. What do you think that, uh, that's still there? Uh -huh. Fire hydrant in its natural habitat. So who knew that something like this was hiding in Laurel, Maryland? Like I keep telling her, this is actually just toxic waste buildup. <laughs> Oh, look, there's a lookout tower. Cool, we should go up there. Are we allowed to climb up there or under? I don't know. How do we get to it? You walk. Give a shit, really? <laughs> it's down there. It's making See, all that it's noise. coming out of the toxic plant. Ew, what is that? Toxic waste water. It is not. I don't know, it's a pump. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Is it bellowing underneath your feet too? No. Walk this middle section here. I don't feel anything. Keep going. You feel it. Oh, we can't actually get out to the water? Oh, and go this way. I see. This is neat. What's this thing over there? Shooting range? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's starting to dry up a little bit. Doesn't it? A little bit. Ooh, this feels weird. One of them there floaty bridges, babe. Yeah, well. There it goes. So we we're walking around Lake Reddington. Yep. Pretty much one circle, one giant circle. So now we're on the other side of the bridge that we were just on previously. Just one circle goes around. Something on the water there. What is that way down there? Huh? What is that way down there? Uh, I think it's a bird nest. It looks like it's on a pole. I'm zooming in. Something in this water, babe. What is this, babe? Come here. Oh, there's a duck out there. Where? Look, look in the camera. I can't hold it still. See it? Yep. What is that, though? Looks like some kind of a nester or feeder. So we are visiting our last uh, place of Laurel, and it's Main Street. There's a yep. lot of cool little shops on Main Street. Yep, I think. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Crystal Fox and the Chamber Room are my favorites. But it's like these old timey stores. You got the Outback Leather here. That's the screen building. Um, it smells like leather. They sell stuff for horses and they do patches and stuff on leather. This is the Crystal Fox you're gonna go into right now. I think Dave will like this store. I don't know. All right, so that was the Crystal Fox. I did a quick scan in there. We're going to go down to the chamber room now. Yeah, they got like a lot of old timey shops here. It's probably my favorite part of Laurel. It's better than Route 1, that's for sure. Sassy scissors closed. Chamber rooms is, um, across the street up here. Hopefully the chamber room is still open because they got a lot of neat things in there. It's an old post office. I don't know what this store is up here with the mannequins. That I've never seen that before. I don't know what that is. Used to be the Minute Man press. Oh, 
little boutique. It's new. Heavenly boutique. Oh yes, the meat market. Giggity. That cow usually sits outside. Well, and then they're closed down, huh? Oh, they're closed down? When did that yeah. happen? Oh. Uh -huh. They've been here for years, the Laurel Meat Market. There's a picture up there. A sign. The Laurel Meat Market. I'm very tired. You just said, okay, I'm done. Holy crap, look at that Betty Boop in there. <laughs> Cupcake place. I don't know it was there. So this is the chamber room. I don't know if they're open right now. Hopefully. They got some cool stuff in there. Yeah, they're open. Let's go in. Got their little window, the Halloween window. I have, he hasn't. <laughs> I thought I decorated for Halloween, even though they don't really need to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mailbox? <laughs> your dresser. Some for your treasures. I will say this very loud and clear so everybody can understand. Laurel is a shithole. <laughs> that was weird. Is it yeah. zoomed in? Zoom, zoom, I don't know. I don't think you can zoom with that. Yeah, you can. You notice the trees are starting to change colors a little bit. You see that wild bag on the road? What? There's a wild bag back there. A wild bag? Yep, a wild bag. What are you talking about? And cut!